Across the nation, cases of RSV have been on the rise. The normally mild illness has been sending young children and at-risk adults to emergency rooms and urgent cares at a quicker rate than normal. 5 News reporter Ian Taylor takes a look at how RSV is impacting our local communities across Arkansas and Oklahoma. As we settle into the fall and winter months, it is quite normal to hear about the flu and over the last few years, spikes in cases of COVID. In recent weeks, a common respiratory illness for infants, RSV, has emerged as a third illness to be on the lookout for. Healthcare workers in our local communities are on the front lines for keeping little ones healthy. It's just one more virus that people are susceptible to. Nicole Oliver is a nurse practitioner with Baptist Health in Fort Smith. She says while it isn't uncommon to see severe cases of RSV requiring hospitalization, seeing cases this early is. Typically RSV, we kind of see it in later winter months. And so we have been seeing it earlier. I know that the, our emergency department in particular has seen a, an increase in cases. And our pediatric clinic, I know, has seen about four cases a week for the past couple of weeks. She says it is likely the cases will continue to climb. To the west, Oklahoma has experienced a similar spike in cases of RSV as well. There's no question the um, the number of cases is going up substantially. Oklahoma Children's Hospital Chief Medical Officer Dr. Cameron Mantor says cases have appeared weeks before normal and increasingly the usually mild illness has been severe, putting a strain on the hospital. We have about 275 children's beds in the Oklahoma Children's Hospital. Um, we have had several points over the past couple of weeks at which every single bed had a patient and our 26 bed emergency room had between 10 and 15 patients waiting to be admitted. Healthcare professionals know respiratory illnesses can be alarming but are urging parents to treat symptoms at home and monitor if they become worse. That is the time to seek additional care. Nurse Nicole Oliver wants parents to know. It is not time to panic. This is something that is happening and I think that if we are just hyper vigilant about distancing and washing our hands and things like that, I think that this is going to be okay. Covering news where you live, Ian Taylor, 5 News. Common symptoms of RSV look like cold, stuffy and runny noses, a low grade fever and a loss of appetite. Experts do warn that things could get worse if not treated early or symptoms get worse without proper care.